have often described us as a curious oddity. And I, I say that because from a distance, that's usually how someone just comes across us. They're walking by and they hear the saw. And they turn and look and, and it's like, what is that guy or gal doing with that chainsaw? For me, that's, that's kind of where it was from is that same curious oddity struck me. It takes a loud, obnoxious, destructive piece of equipment and puts it in the home because we make fine art. It's not this chunky, clunky stuff anymore. Many of these guys and gals are extremely talented and they kick out some beautiful work. I was a spectator once, uh, watching in awe, just like these folks, a chainsaw carver. Uh, maybe I was one of the few that thought, oh gosh, I think I could do that. And I went home and tried it. And uh, 18 years later, here I am. When I finally decided to go into a much bigger thing than just a hobby, that occurred when my current employer at the time, they had a great big layoff, which I was part of. Suddenly I had to become much more gainfully employed in my, my hobby. Yeah, it was, it was a big scary thing. You have three kids, you know, and bills to pay. And my wife, I, mean, I remember it went over like a lead balloon the day I told her I was going to become a full-time chainsaw carver. And uh, she says, you're insane. <laughs> and I started carving competitively around the U.S. I was placing within the top 10 at first, which isn't bad for someone that's been only carving for a year or two. Got invited to a few more carving events around the U.S. And next thing you know, I'm, I'm placing within the top three. At that point, gosh, overseas venues so now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, we've really got something going here. My wife's a lot more on board because she sees there's a viable uh, business opportunity here and, you know, we can make this work. There's a lot of pinch me moments in my life. You know, it's something that you never, ever would have expected to happen. And then you suddenly have this realization you're in this place, in this time, and look at what's happening around you in beautiful landscapes in Denmark or Germany or you know some really unique place that I learned about only in the books in school in geography and there I am right in front of the Eiffel Tower or something you know <laughs>